All right, here we are in a run-in driving video of our 97 uh, Nissan pickup. Temperature's starting to come up on the truck, so it's getting a little warmed up. You see the blinkers are working. Let's see the uh, license plate lights on. Blinkers all working. Still got a little cold weather condensation coming out, but you can see it's not white, not black. Um, and it's just because it's below freezing. But all right, so uh, go ahead and turn off the four ways. And then uh, you can hear the blower motors nice and quiet, nice and smooth. Uh, you got your AC button. See it lights up. And you can hear the pump kick on and kick off. It's got a nice little CD player. You know, de decent sound, little speakers. Clutch feels perfect. It's right where it should be. Um, so, alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get going here. Get the e-brake off. So it's got 82,540 right now. Um, you can see all your your lights and everything work. Looks like that that one there. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't always work, but uh, windows roll up and down, nice and smooth. You see the temp gauge coming up, gas gauge works good. So I'm gonna get a cruise in here, shift into second. I'll sit back a little bit, shift into third. Just nice RPMs, just really smooth driving truck. Really easy to drive, sorry if the sun's in your way a little bit there, but wipers work, all that stuff. So right now I'm in fourth gear, I'm just kind of cruising. But, uh, you know, brakes really nice and smooth. I mean, everything works on this truck. It's just really tight driving. I mean, the on the front end, pretty much, you know, steering-wise and components and ride quality on the suspension on this thing and door rattle, wind noise and all that stuff is pretty much just as it was new. I mean, it's got super low miles. I mean, it's 20 years old, so you get your little use and age wear and stuff. But it's a really tight truck. You can see I hit a pothole back there, manhole. It just soaks the bumps up, you know, like a, like a newer truck does. It's a nice, solid sound. Um, you go through the corners, it's just smooth turning. You don't have any slop, no white knuckle driving. It doesn't doesn't drift or um, pull, no binding or anything like that. Just go ahead and downshift. I'm in third gear right now. You can see going through these tight S curves, it's just nice and tight. And this mo especially with this five speed, it gets killer gas mileage. Yeah, you know, like I mentioned in the other video, these trucks are just getting to be hard to find. Um, I mean, a lot of them got a couple hundred thousand miles on them. I mean, these little import trucks were, especially in the 80s and 90s, were just bought to be driven. You know, they were the most reliable, best fuel economy. I mean, all the new trucks nowadays are all just killer. But uh, back then, the uh, you know, Toyota and Nissan pretty much had the game for the, the small and the compact trucks. I'm going to fourth gear. Um, this is a, uh, you know, this truck is killer because when you jump in it, there's no, there's no questions. They're like, oh, this thing shouldn't be this way. Or, oh, this needs this. Or oh, why is it doing this? Or what's that noise? I mean, this is jump in it. Quiet 97 Nissan pickup. It's exactly what you want. I mean, there's no exhaust leaks. Um, there's no smells. Uh, the only thing you know is that light seems to be alert immediate, but when you open up the door, it comes on. So, you know, it's got fresh oil change, um, alignment. You know, I had the tires, you know, balanced out just, just for the heck of it, just because I didn't know when they were done last and it's cheap. So it just brakes nice and smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out on the highway here. This truck's just got a nice, clean, clean crisp look. Um, so here's a tight corner. I'm in second gear. It's a pretty good hill climb here. But you can hear no grinding, no slipping. I'm in fourth gear here. You know, I'm not you know, to the wood on these trucks. Uh, I'm going to go into fifth here. Don't make much of a difference if you're 
floored all the way to three quarter throttle. I mean, they just kind of, they're not like an old carbureted V8 where you open up the secondaries. I mean, but, so yeah, just tracks really nice and smooth. Let's see, I believe you can see the speedometer. I mean, this is just what you, just basically what, uh, what the truck should be. It doesn't have anything on it, it shouldn't be. You know, and so it's about 3,400 RPMs at 70 miles an hour, so red lines of 57, so you got a lot of, a lot of room there to go. If you want to get a little bit more out of it, throw some 31s on it, and you know, you lose a little bottom end power, but on the highway you get a little bit more, so. All right, everybody, this is gonna be going at no reserve. We've got 82,543 climbing miles, so uh, it's going at no reserve. It's good luck.